today's video we will see how to prepare pots or containers for planting. This forms one of the basic uh, guidelines which will help you set up your containers or pots to make sure you are growing in the optimum conditions. And we will go over a few myths <coughs> and we will try to debunk them as well. So let's get started. Most whiskey barrel containers do not come with holes drilled in them. So what you have to do is use a drill with a half inch or a one inch drill bit and drill some holes just like that. Make sure you drill enough holes and make sure you drill holes which are at fairly equal distance from each other. That will make sure the water drains off from all the areas of the container. And most containers should have holes pre-drilled in them as you can see here in this plastic terracotta pot. Now we need to wash the pots thoroughly especially if you are using it for the previous season. Now some people recommend using bleach or something to kill the bacteria. However, I think you don't need to do that because using chemicals will not only kill the harmful bacteria but also the beneficial bacteria. So just make sure you set your hose on the jet spray mode and then just spray away your container making sure everything is clean. Using some kind of elevation for your containers makes drainage not only easier but it also keeps the bottom part of your container clean and free from insects. So in the past it was recommended that you use stones or pebbles to improve drainage. However, that's a myth. It does not improve drainage at all. What you can do to improve drainage is to use a high quality potting mix that will not only improve drainage but will also give you about an inch or two of extra growing space. So there's absolutely no reason to add stones or rocks at the bottom. And also remember that potting mixes and potting soils contain a lot of porous medium like perlite and vermiculite which improve drainage automatically. So you do not need stones or pebbles or rocks below your container. All they do is just waste space in your container. Just use high quality potting mix or potting soils and you are good to go. So once you add the potting mix or potting soil, just make sure you water well and keep watering it at least a few times and make sure it drains well and drains completely. Now what's watering gonna do is that it's gonna remove all the air pockets within your container and make sure that you have the right amount of potting soil or potting mix in your container. So if you see the soil level going down, I recommend adding a little bit more soil and then watering it again. Containers dry out much faster than the soil in the ground so you need to make sure you add a nice drip irrigation system which makes sure that your container has a constant level of moisture and also remember that the wider that the container you use the more drip emitters you need in your container so you could either use a soaker hose which covers the entire circumference or just use multiple emitters as you can see here so that's all you need to know to start a great container garden and I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you again soon in another episode of California Gardening. Until then, happy gardening.